Hello, my friends, and welcome to another week of art. I have a couple of videos that I'm going to show you. Um, we are going to be talking about the artist Gustav Klimt. And one of the um, videos that I'm going to show you is going to give you a little bit of background about him. And the image that we're going to be looking at from his collection is all about trees, okay? We've got trees and flowers and bloom because it's spring, so I thought it was perfect time to do this. My face-to-face -face learners are still working on an optical illusion project, so this is mainly for virtual learners, but if face-to-face -face learners finish early enough, then they will be able to do this um, beautiful drawing of a tree. Okay, so let me get this open. Good sound. All right. I'm going to start first with one way to draw a tree. And let's see, I think hmm, that I will show you. Ah, let's show you an image of his artwork first. Okay. This is one of his paintings of the tree of life. And you notice that there's a lot of golds and browns in it, but there is a lot of color. Um, he used gold leaf, real gold in his paintings. Um, and lots of pattern and variety of lawn. Um, this is not a realistic painting, which means it doesn't look like a tree we would normally see out and about, right? Um, but it is a beautiful um, painting of a tree. And I also want to show you another artist, their version of a tree of life. And you can see how they mimic the swirling of the um, tree branches and the use of shapes. Theirs is much more colorful and keep that in mind when we are creating our work of art. Okay, now let me pull up my videos here and we're gonna learn a little bit more about Gustav Klimt. This is a famous painting by the artist Gustav Klimt called The Tree of Life. Gustav Klimt was an Austrian symbolist painter. Symbolism was a 19th century art movement that originated in France, Russia, and Belgium. Early on in Gustav Klimt's artistic career, he was successful in painting architectural decorations. As he began to develop more of a personal style, his work became more controversial. But Klimt's golden phase got a positive reaction. Look at that beautiful pattern. I wanted to point that out and all of the variety of pattern that he's got going on in the painting. And you can see the gold leaf a little bit better in this, right? Let's continue. <laughs> This painting, called The Tree of Life, is the only landscape Klimt painted during his golden period. He used oil painting techniques with gold paint to create luxurious pieces of art. The swirling branches create mythical symbolism about how life continues. The branches twist, twirl, turn, and spiral, creating a tangle of strong branches and long vines which expresses how complex life is. With its branches reaching for the sky, the tree of life also roots into the earth, creating the connection between heaven and earth, which is a concept often found in many cultures, religions, and ideologies. Let's create our own tree of life drawing inspired by Gustav Klimt. Okay, now this is one version of a drawing of Gustav Klimt's tree of life. So pay attention to the way they do it. Um, remember that you can add a lot more color to the background and I'm actually gonna make this full screen so we can see it better. And let's watch. For this project, you'll need a sheet of paper, a pencil, a black marker or crayon, and something to color with. I'm starting with pencil. Let's draw the trunk of our tree. Two long vertical lines in the center of our paper. Let's 
let's draw our first branch. From one of those vertical lines, draw a line over to the side that ends in a spiral. Then draw another line that mimics that first line, connecting the end of the spiral. For our second branch, draw a long line that ends in a spiral in the opposite direction. Then connect that branch to our first branch, continuing the spiral. Let's draw more branches using spirals like we did the first two branches. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit. Now that we have our larger branches, let's add many smaller branches using the same technique to draw the spirals. Anywhere you'd like on your tree, continue drawing smaller spirals off of different branches. He's filling the page with these curvy, twisting vines on the tree, the tree trunk, okay? And I'm speeding up just a little bit so you can see. Okay, well. Let's add some shapes, designs, and patterns on our tree. Okay, look at the variety of patterns she's got going on. You've got circles, you've got triangles, you've got a little bit of um, circle within circle, okay? And when she's all done with the drawing, she's going to add an outline and then color, okay? And remember, you're using whatever you have at home. And finally, let's add some color. Okay, and that's your finished work. Now you can't see the colored background that well in her drawing. She used crayon. But you guys could get very um, creative. You could do like a almost like a rainbow effect with the background. She used like it looks like a purple. You could do like, you know, um, bands in the background of like reds and yellows and blues and um, just be creative with it. Okay. Now I'm going to show you one more other version that incorporates a little bit of collage. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I just want to go to the part that we are looking for. Okay. Here we go. 
Now this artist is using, um, remember I said that Gustav Klimt used gold leaf? Well, we don't have gold leaf sitting around the house, but we do have aluminum foil. So for some of those um, shapes, this artist used aluminum foil, cutting it out and gluing it down. And we're gonna look at that. Tree of life, a quick drawing lesson on making a tree. You wanna sketch a trunk of a tree and make the swirly branches like Gustav Klimt's Tree of Life. You start out with a white piece of paper. And I always teach my students, a tree grows deep into the earth and has bigger roots. So the base of the tree is gonna be a lot larger than the top of the tree. And as it comes up, and if you make a bump or a mistake, that's okay, because trees aren't perfect. Instead of chopping the tree off here, I always tell my students to draw a capital V in the center. And what that does is it helps you create branches. Like if I created another V here and I brought it up, and another V here, and then I brought that up, you're creating branches. Now, because the tree of life had these swirly branches, you don't have to make them so realistic. You can kind of stop there. And I always taught my students for this one, take some circle tracers, and then what you can do is draw the swirls around. And I'll show you what I mean. I went out and found around my house some caps to make some circles. And you can take your aluminum foil again and trace some caps to make a really perfect circle. And then you can glue them down in the spots and I'll show you how we're gonna draw around them to create our tree. Big sparkly pom-poms up in the air, these big round circles that we can now create our swirly lines around just like Gustav Klimt's Tree of Life. So I'm just gonna extend this branch and make a circle around my circle. And I can make another circle if I'd like. You can leave it like that. I can even make another branch coming off the end here and make a swirl there. And the same around here. Now, of course, so she's drawing her swirls around the shapes that she's already glued down. And those don't have to be perfect circles either, okay? You have colors and crayons and things at home. Here's my version of Gustav Klimt's Tree of Life. Okay, so that's a different way to do it, but remember, you can always add more color there too, because you do have a lot of warm colors going on in her drawing um, with the yellows in the background, and then you've got browns, so you could add some patterns onto the tree trunks, just like you saw in the previous um, drawing. Um, or you could also add like some different colors in the background. It does not just have to be a solid color, okay? So that is Gustav Klimt. And I can't wait to see your beautiful um, versions of Gustav Klimt's Tree of Life. Remember that I don't expect them all to look the same, but I do expect you to try and make sure that you are posting your pictures, okay? Um, when you turn it in, either email me or you can post it to um, Google Classroom or Class Dojo. And my email address is eturner at ecps.us, okay? So have a great week. I love you. I miss you. And I can't wait to see your art, okay? Bye for now.